Welcome to the fourth lesson in the series on the WSO2 API Manager. This lesson covers the topic Working with Statistics. API statistics are provided in both API Publisher and API Store web applications. Apart from the number of subscriptions per API, all other statistical dashboards require that an instance of WSO2 Data Analytics Server is installed. The WSO2 API Manager generates events based on the API Manager invocation pattern and publishes them to all the listening event analyzers. The analyzer is responsible for the accumulation of all events and generates a summary data based on the defined summarization logic. After the summarized data is generated, the API Manager dashboard can retrieve statistics from the analyzer data source to the UI via the API Manager Analytics client. Let's have a look at the internal components. API Manager Usage Publisher The internal API Manager component listens to the API Manager invocations and its behavior. Based on the request and responses, the event is generated and published to all the event receivers. This publisher publishes the following event streams. org.wso2.apimgt.statistics.request org.wso2.apimgt.statistics.response org.wso2.apimgt.statistics.fault org.wso2.apimgt.statistics.throttle Workflow Executor This component publishes the org.wso2.apimgt.statistics.workflow event stream containing workflow-related event data. API Manager Usage Client The usage client is responsible for retrieving statistics data from the available data source. There can be more than one usage client in API Manager. By default, there are two usage clients and either one can be in use at a given time. From API Manager 1.10.x onwards, two usage clients exist, REST and RDBMS. You can configure and use either client. By default, the REST client is configured and uses the WSO2-REST API to fetch summarized data. In this diagram, the path indicated in black demonstrates the path when API Manager is configured with the REST client. The path in red demonstrates the RDBMS client data flow path. In this case, the same data store which is stored in the DAS internal table is also stored in the external RDBMS. Data Analyzer The Data Analyzer is a summary data generator based on the received event. WSO2 API Manager 1.10.x uses a WSO2 Data Analytics Server 3.0.x to perform analytics tasks. WSO2 DAS uses Apache Spark as a processing language. API Manager has a pluggable component, DAS C app, which can be deployed into DAS. It contains details of all summarized data and their destination. API Manager has two inbuilt C app files, API underscore manager underscore analytics underscore rdbms.car and API underscore manager underscore analytics underscore rest.car. Both contain the same summarization logic except for the REST client final destination, which is the DAS internal database, and the RDBMS client final destination, which is the external RDBMS. API Manager 1.10.x provides six types of event streams. org.wso2.apimgt.statistics.request This stream tracks information for the API request. org.wso2.apimgt.statistics.response This stream tracks information for the API response. It includes the time taken for the response to get back, the received time, etc org.wso2.apimgt.statistics.fault This stream contains the fault API invocations. It includes the API with back and errors, timeout, etc. 
org.wso2.apimgt.statistics.destination. This stream tracks related information based on the endpoint URL. org.wso2.apimgt.statistics.throttle. This stream contains the API invocation with throttle information. Throttling can happen due to the application, resource, API, or hard level limits being exceeded. Org.wso2.apimgt.statistics.workflow. This event stream creates events based on the API Manager workflow and publishes them to the analyzer. API Manager Summarize Table. These summarize tables are stored in the DAS internal storage. Both the CApps that API Manager deploy on DAS first stores the summary data into these tables. There are additional columns in some of these tables containing the composition of other columns. Those columns are of facet type, which is used to support the aggregation function on the DAS REST API. All the columns are indexed in order to search using Apache Lucene and supports the DAS REST API. When API Manager is configured with the RDBMS client, all these tables are replicated in the external RDBMS, except for the facet columns. API Request Summary This table contains the summary data of the request event stream. API Version Usage Summary This table contains the summary data for API Manager usage. It is derived from the request event table. API Resource Usage Summary this table contains summarized data for API Manager usage by resources and it is also derived from the request event table. API Response Summary This table contains summarized data from API responses. It is derived from the response event table. API Fault Summary this table contains a summarized data of faulty API invocations and is derived from the fault event stream. API Destination Summary This table contains a summarized data of the API destinations and is derived from the destination event stream. API Last Access Time Summary This table contains a summary data of the last access times of the API and is derived from the request event stream. API Throttled Out Summary this table contains the summary of the throttled out API invocation data. It is derived from the throttle out event table and request table. In previous versions of API Manager, WSO2 Business Activity Monitor put the summarized data in a separate RDBMS, after which API Manager fetched data from that RDBMS. From API Manager 1.10.x onwards, data can be shared more efficiently directly to API Manager using the all-new DAS REST API. Additionally, you have the option of using the RDBMS client to publish data to the WSO2 Data Analytics Server by configuring an RDBMS to store the data if required. WSO2 Data Analytics Server can collect data streams, run them through batch real-time, interactive, predictive, to be announced, analysis, and then communicate these as actionable insights via APIs, dashboards, alerts, and queries. It's unique in that these analysis can be run simultaneously using data from IoT, mobile, and web applications, giving you the ability to publish the data just once and analyze both data in motion and data at rest with the same software. When publishing statistics using the REST API, first configure DAS with the port offset. The port offset is entered in the API Manager Home repository conf-carbon.xml file. The port offset is used to increment the default port by a given value. It avoids possible port conflicts when multiple WSO2 products run on the same host. Start the API Manager and DAS servers.
log in to the API Manager admin dashboard. Click Configure Analytics under the Settings section. Select the Enable checkbox to enable statistical data publishing. Set the event receiver configurations according to the DAS server. Event receivers refer to the endpoint to which events are published from the API gateway. The default port for the event receiver is 7611. Since we added a port offset of 1 to the data analytics server, we should add 7612 as the event receiver group. Click Add URL group to save the configuration. Set the configurations under the Data Analyzer Configurations section. As we added a port offset of 1 to the Data Analytics server, it will run on the port 9444 and not the default port of 9443. Click Save. It deploys the Analytics Toolbox, which describes the information collected, how to analyze the data, and the location of the database where the analyzed data is stored. Invoke APIs to generate statistics. Wait for 5 minutes and then click on the Statistics section to view statistics. In the publisher, there are two categories, All Statistics and Statistics under the My API section. In the All Statistics section, you can see the statistics for the current tenant domain. In the statistics section, you can see the data for the current logged in publisher. The following types of statistics are displayed. List of APIs with its current subscriptions. List of APIs with the hit counts. List of APIs with their average response times. List of APIs with their last access times. List of APIs with their hit counts for each resource and method. API endpoint hit counts. This will be visible if destination based usage tracking is enabled for each API. API hit counts and hit count comparison with all other APIs. API success and throttle out count by APIs, API success and throttle out count by application, API fault count and its percentage with respect to all request counts. In the store we have API usage for each application, top users based on the application, API usage from resource path per application. Faulty API invocations for each application. You can also configure the API Manager to track runtime statistics of API invocations through Google Analytics. Google Analytics is a service that allows you to track visits to a website and generate detailed statistics on them. You can now try out the exercise publishing runtime statistics on the lab kit. This concludes our lesson on API statistics. Thank you.